Smacking, cracking, and watching. Follow me on Twitter. Subscribe. Snowfall, season one, episode three. Read this episode. It's called Slow Hand. This episode, we learn about family plotting, planning, invading, rising, uh, staking out taking what's not ours we also see some throwback things like pay phones lava lamps dashikis wooden bat gold bomb peroxide old school headboards man i don't even think they make headboards like uh franklin's mother had vintage tv shows jamaican flag inspired bongs a lot of gear shifts we see a lot of breaking points everyone's thinking what have i got myself into this episode Every episode is broken into three categories. It's Franklin, Oso, and Teddy. Our three main characters are going through the same issue. They're already in a bad situation. They've thought of a plan. They hit that breaking point. They've witnessed something that's freaking life-changing and crazy. Something unexpected happened, and they get screwed over. But I'm not going to talk about Franklin first. I'm going to talk about Oso. Oso screwed. He's developing a plan with his crime family. And they're trying to figure out who's the best person to pin all of this on. He goes to one of the gangster's house and he ends up finding out he's living a different type of lifestyle. We see the man with his boo, who happens to be a gentleman. And they're preparing meals and kissing and hugging up on each other. And Oso's like, hey man, this is this guy's family. I don't want to be the person responsible for ruining it. I almost feel like Teddy's trying to get buried under the jail by messing around with rocket launchers. Has he lost his ever-loving mind? Has he lost every marble in there? Is he just not screwed tightly? Is it just me or does he look like the rapper Little Dicky mixed with Screech from Saved by the Bell? I mean, and he really still the deal with this 80s attire. He's got the pocket, you know, he's got the tie, looking like a science teacher. He's got the pen protector, all of that. What have you got yourself into, Teddy? What I did appreciate is Teddy rolling up that tie when he had to get dirty. He's not afraid to get his hands dirty. That's another, that's one quality I like about him. He rolled his tie up. Y'all remember Cabbage Patch Dolls? You remember the Cabbage Patch Dolls that came out that could chew? Remember that they were eating, <laughs> like little girls, that's not funny. But you remember they were eating kids' hair? and like they anything that they got it would just roll it up and i was like you know what you're smart dealing with uh power tools you definitely need to have rolled that tie up he rolled that tie up and he was sawing it off and i felt like okay you're gonna mess around you're gonna piss off you're gonna piss off your maid man and it ain't gonna be good he's gonna screw you over he's he, something something's not gonna go good between those two guys i'm telling you right now it's not gonna go good because somebody is gonna feel like someone's not giving a hundred percent and once that happens no bueno. See, Teddy's family is now in town, which is bringing something human to him because this guy, okay, he's such a robot. What is his story? You don't know your child. You don't You don't know what your child likes. You, you've been that far distant. Hmm. But at the same time, I'm saying to myself, why tell this chick the truth if telling her the truth is going to get her killed or you killed? But regardless, the game that he's playing, he doesn't even know that this chick is on her way to her deathbed anyway. Just because he's going to tick off somebody down the line and they're going to go for her. That's how I feel. Teddy called cocaine a rich people drug. Really? He had no idea, huh? Him had no idea what him was doing. He's smoking crack if he thinks that's, that's true. He's smoking crack his own self if he thinks that's true. Now his kid and girl living. They just came and now they leaving. You know how Osos was seeing that family and he didn't want to finish the kill when he saw that man was happy at home? Is it worth it? Now Teddy feels like, I'm losing my family, man. Is this game worth it? And Teddy walks into the factory. It's empty. His work is gone. There's no rocket launchers. There's nothing to be sawed off or, you know, no serial numbers to be scraped off. What you gonna do now? He's at that point. Frank Lad. Dang! You got knocked the like for real for real dang they got our guy as franklin is standing up from getting his butt kicked what do you hear in the background i can't go for that no i no can do that's my song when i say that song goes hard if y'all know first of all you need to listen to this, the screw the chop version of it because that stuff go hard and that's my favorite way to listen to it i believe it's hollow hollow hall, can't even say it hall and oats 
That's the song that I can't go for it. No, I no can do. That's my stuff, man. You have no idea. Um, but Franklin has he's he's bleeding. It's blood, sweat, tears, vomit. He's broken. Probably a rib rib cage is bruised or broken. Um, he's been played, man. But he's still collected. You know, he's still kind. Claudia. Claudia probably was in on it, man. You can't trust that chick. She know too much, seen too much. At the same time, at least she gave him the name. Ray Ray and Lenny. Ray Ray and Lenny, y'all, of all names. I love it. I love it. You know why? Because they're keeping the essence of it all. You know what I mean? Who, who took it? T Timothy and Charles? No, 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 no. Landon and, and, and Robert doesn't have the same effect. Ray Ray and Lenny? I believe Ray Ray and Lenny did. I'm just saying. Am I stereotyping? Am I wrong for that? For the sake of the TV show, Ray Ray and Lenny, that was the perfect one. So he goes to see his homeboy Leon in the hood because we know Leon's a muscle. He's a smart guy. He's got the street smarts, a deeper sense of street smarts maybe than our boy Franklin. Franklin's best friend knows someone that can help get this book bag because all this money is missing, right? All the money that he had got back from the keys from Claudia. They end up walking down this alley and I'm saying no, no. When I saw the when I saw Franklin and Leon in the alley, I thought of Ricky and Cuba. And we all know what happened. Ricky! So I want to say, Franklin! Franklin! Run! And that dude came out. He was like this out the window. And he had that face like he had them eyebrows like right right come on y'all acting like y'all never saw boys in the hood though quick line and they know john singleton know what he was doing when he put that together 90s african-american community movie watcher and myself deep within myself appreciated the artwork that came out in that scene i must give a applause truly honestly so we see someone who's got the juice in the hood. We not He's not big time. This guy who's helping them find the money, he's not major. He's not big time. He's not Ivy level. He's not the plug. He's just, he's the, he's the hood homeboy. He's who you can go to to get it done. He's a little knucklehead, above a knucklehead, you know? So they link up with him, roll up to the house. He knows, as the viewers, we know it's why. Because what we've seen, the motorcycle, the Honda Blue Bike, right? It's sitting parked outside, which is bold. You didn't even chop it up, sell it. You ain't put it in the garage. I mean, nothing in the backyard. It's right in the front, like, yeah, I did it. I don't care. Details, my friend, details. And then they make you think, okay, you played them. Because the crazy dude, what's his name? Uh, Arvell, I think his name was. Anyway, he puts the gun at our boy's head say i got your and so lenny opens the door and he puts a gun he switches it puts a gun on lenny they force their way into this home they force their way into the residence and they end up tying our boy up. they end up tying lenny up trying to get him to confess where's the money where's the money he's not listening carvel eating cereal like okay you know what you don't want to do it all right we're gonna go my way so he starts trashing his house he's still not he's still not saying where the money is if he just would have said where the money is he, what happened to him probably so this madman calls franklin and his homeboy soft as ice cream soft as a cupcake soft serve ice cream he's a madman muscle but he's crazed uh, franklin steps in says hey man just tell me the guy spits on him that was franklin's breaking point like really i tried to help you and you didn't take it well crazy carvel takes him in the room and they're thinking that he's getting beat up but he wasn't he was getting sexually assaulted which was absolutely disgusting um sad changed the whole mood of the show before that moment this man took a bat to the knee bat to the chest spring-loaded knife unhooked him and he drug him in the room and he slammed the door and that's when you knew it went south he took more than money at that point but he also did find the location of the money inside the house took it walked out with the two stacks and not two stacks two thousand but he took two bundles of bread and cereal with him how scandalous is this dude how are they gonna get this money back from him we're gonna see him next episode i guarantee you um but i bet you he's gonna trick off majority of that money and franklin's gonna be screwed with ivy uncle jerome and aunt louise he got the gun from him but uncle jerome sitting there with his 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 shirt and his drawers that scene was everything 
I feel like Franklin's gonna get caught up with his mother or someone breaks into the house and maybe they're gonna throw the stereo down on the ground because that's where he's storing all his money and his weapon but um when he changed clothes went in there with his mother it was beautiful and then and she said the perfect line to end this episode this is the good part good episode y'all really good i loved it well i didn't i mean it was dark it was dark like i said we had the plan the altered plan something that really changed their life forever and it just didn't go the way that they wanted that slow hand it's not gonna always get to you when you need it it's not always gonna come to you as fast and quick as we want it to it's just gonna slowly occur all right y'all until next episode like comment subscribe sorry if my throat's all messed up man i'm struggling